Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, can you click on the subscription button? Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. So we had our very first, not first, but like the main major fight in the level one house and this fight had many players in it um the main players are adekule versus chichi doyin versus shags and somehow doyin versus chichi too yes guys in fact um right now i think there are clicks in the level one house yes guys the likes of adekule allison dotun and doyin yes guys and yeah those ones are like the click of their own diana and um chichi is looking like you know a tag team sort of yes guys so what actually caused this fight you know this early in the morning or late last night you will not believe that is the city is a city in nigeria called benin city Yes, guys. So they were having their rehearsals for their wage attacks. Yes. And the storyline that Adekule, you know, was presenting was basically about, you know, they talked about a village girl from Benin City. And Chichi had an issue with it. In fact, not just Chichi, Diana too had an issue with it. You know, they were like, why would you say, you know, a village girl from Benin City and all that? They didn't want that, you know, tag you know that um benin city is not a village or something like that and adekule was like why is it you know that you have um how do i put it like you always have something against me or something like that you know and you know um while he was saying that you know chichi was also responding and everything then shakes also made mention that yes okay we know that a lot of times we've complained you know a lot of people have had issues with chichi and all that but in this one it's looking like adinkule has got like a personal vendetta against chichi you know because he was like oh why is it that you know chichi always you know comes at him and all that and adinkule now said okay based off of what you know shek said the thing here is yesterday that even yesterday you know while they were talking about you know men taking care of infants and women taking care of infants and out of nowhere chichi also like was pinpointing him or like um was at his like on his case about his own opinion left every other person's opinion and was like fixated on his own opinion i mean that shows like i mean basically that you know she has you know something and all that you know that she's practically always speaking on him and he's been trying to like be accommodative and all that and chichi was like for you to even mention something that happened yesterday you know that you know we've already passed over it means you have something you know in your mind again against me and shex was also trying to them to, you know basically like shex was trying to like defend chichi and all that and he kept saying it and saying it before we know what was happening you know um doing chook mouth into the matter like and she was just ranting and before she just said shut the fuck up shut the fuck up shut the fuck up uh -uh. i'm like okay chill babe i get you i get that you know the whole atmosphere is tense. I get that probably she's pissed off because she has kept repeating that over and over again. And she has had it up to here. And, you know, Doin actually feels like Chichi is wrong. You know, she feels like Chichi is wrong because she feels like every time they are having a group, whatever, that Chichi is always like, you know, um, trying to stay up trouble and all that. And I feel that was why, you know, she fled up at Shex, probably because she felt like Shex should not be defending Chichi or something like that. And, or maybe she She's tired of hearing him repeat this over and over again. And before you know it, Shanks was, you know, by her bedside and all that. It was going down. Like, Shanks was like, I wasn't saying any mean thing to you or anything. And then what gave you the right to basically say, shut the fuck up and everything to me? And then, you know, um... Bella came in, you know, tried to hold Shex because it was almost looking like uh Shex was about to do something he might regret. Basically, yes, guys. And you know, after a while, you know, that was basically the fight. Chichi versus Adekunle, Shex versus, you know, Doyin and all that. And after a while, you know, um, what's her name? Doyin went to apologize. 
to Shags. And while she was apologizing to Shag, she now said something along the lines of, oh, I'm sorry about that, but you know that it was Chichi that started it. And Chichi was like, her bed was on the other side, you know, and Chichi started ranting and ranting like, oh, don't put my name, don't call my name in all this, don't even try it. Why is it that every time you're trying to use, you know, Chichi's name to settle your fight? If you want to apologize, apologize. Don't be using Chichi's name to apologize. Don't be using Chichi's name to apologize. Ah, Chichi na one man more po because, you know, she was facing drawings, she was also facing a decule almost at the same time. And at some point, you know in all this fight um shags were just tired of the whole environment you know and all that i think that at that point you know bella was like by his bedside and all i'm trying to give you guys like a summary of everything that happened you know um bella was at his bedside and all and then shags was like babe if you i hope you or something along the lines of i hope you have the, uh, the emotional intelligence or if you have the emotional intelligence to know that i don't want to be in this room right now let's step out for like five minutes and all and bella stood up you know to go with him and he was like thank you and that moment alone has caused some people to twist the words on twitter saying stuff about bella following shakes around and all that forgetting that it was shakes that actually asked her you know to go with him outside and oh shakes is now referring to Bella as babes yes guys so yeah that was it and of course Diana and um Elo Swag you know try to make peace you know try to explain to Chi Chi okay oh babe see what's you know this is happening yes even then I was like yes I was peace and all but it's not personal maybe you're taking it personal personal and Elo Swag was like you know don't care about what people think you're always caring about what people think and Chi Chi was like every time you know that she wants to give her opinion in the group they always like shut it down that she has made a promise to them that she will never ever you know make um a uh, suggestion in their group or everything that whatever it is they want to do you know she will just go along with it and all that now outside um at the lounge um Alison Dotun um Adekunle and of course Doyin were sitting there and they were talking about the issues that happened. Obviously, Allison and Doyin and Adekunle don't, don't like, I don't think they like Chichi that much. Yes. So that's why I feel like they are forming a crew. Initially, I thought that their crew was people that maybe were rejected in their love interest to Aspar, Bella and Shex. To be very honest, that's what it's looking like. But right now, it's looking like a clique of people that don't like Chichi. Basically, you know, they talked about, you know, how Chichi, you know, is always, you know, um, being defensive. And oh, less than, least I forget, you know, while this was going on, you know, while, you know, in the room, when, you know, um, Doyin uh, was apologizing to Shags and all that, and Bella said something, and Chichi was talking and talking and talking, and then Bella says something along the lines of, um, I don't know why somebody would be wrong and still be defensive at the same point, and, ah, Chichi, like, Chichi lost it. Chichi was just talking, like, why would she mention her name if you have an issue with me? Come, let's talk it out, blah, 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 you know, and, you know, wow. Um, Diana and Elo, Elo Swag, you know, were trying to calm Chichi down. Chichi also mentioned it like, why would Bella always like, you know, pull her name? You know, if Bella has an issue with her, they will sort it out and all that. And it's looking like there is a fight, another fight brewing between Bella and Chichi. Yes, guys, because I mean, you all know the first fight that happened in her house was because of, it was still because of this whole rehearsal thing. And it was between Chichi and Bella. So yeah, it's looking like we're going to be having more fights, you know, involving Chichi in the future in that house. Now back to the, you know, fork people four man crew you know that are basically there you know talking about chichi saying chichi is a difficult person basically you know that she's um always stirring up trouble and all that and you know Alison talked about you know how she's always trying to like give chichi space you know when she noticed you no know, bad energy or something like that and you know they also talked about you know why doing went off of on shags and she was like because shags kept repeating it and repeating it and repeating it again you know and as they were talking and everything um in comes chichi elo swag and diana you know basically trying to make peace you know as they were trying to make peace adekule was trying to explain you know to chichi that ceo I don't have anything against you. I don't have a problem with you. And Chichi was like, if you do not have a problem with me, 
like show it with your actions, the way you talk to me, the way you answer me, because it's for you to bring up something that has we've settled or something that's, you know, happened in the past. That means you have something against me. And at some point, Adekile was kneeling and Chichi was like, oh, don't kneel for me. And Adekile was like, I'm not kneeling for you, you know, and Chichi was not like, she really didn't want to listen. Like she kept repeating, you know, her own stance over and over again. And at some point, Adekile was like, you know what, all this while I've been civil with you, but at this point, I'll just be honest with you. I can be a bastard at some time. I can be a bastard. I can be a dick. But if that's what you want, I would like give you space. If that's what you want, you know, and you know, um, Chichi was like, the thing here is you say you apologize. I hear what you say, but your actions don't tally with what exactly you are saying. And at that, about that time, they kind of like almost resolved it. You know, there was love and light. Elo Swag, you know, was trying to do love and light and everything. Give it up for Elo Swag. Because if not for him, there would really have been maybe another fight between Doin and Bella at some point. Because um, when um, Doin went off, Bella said something. I forgot what she said. And there was like this whole, you know, back and forth, almost, you know, causing another fight. So it was a royal rumble. Yes, guys, a royal war rumble in the island house and we all thought that it was the people in the trenches that have more drama like the people in the island they have no tolerance basically that's what i've seen a lot of misunderstandings things that could have easily been sorted out but we love it abi what well, don't we love basketball we do love basketball now a lot of people are saying you know on the streets of twitter you know on social media that adekule was wrong while some people are saying that Chichi is wrong, but at the end of the day, Shami, I don't care who is wrong or who is right in this particular fight. I just feel like they should, you know, have this more kind of fights because, I mean, it will help them, you know, get out of their shells. It will help them know everybody's, you know, um, no-go area so that people will understand each other more. And also, while all this happened, Shay's kind of like felt, you know, from the discussion, you know, I had, you know, between him and Bella, it kind of looked like he didn't like... um like you know bella's position you know in all these fights probably he felt like you know bella didn't have his back you know but bella was like I, I, didn't you like see what happened in there i was you know trying to even get diana to hold you so that you will not do something you know st stupid you know because it almost looked like she wanted to like you know pounce on doing at some point so yeah um uh, what do you guys think especially about the doing's outburst yeah like i said earlier she she said that the reason why she had that outburst at Shegs was because Shegs kept repeating, you know, over and over again. But some people have out of the school of thought that is because she's felt scorned because all day she keeps seeing the her love interest move around with Bella. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Anyways, away from that fight, Conji, don't they hold these people small, small? Because earlier that night, Hermes was like, ah, he won't lay his head on breast. He won't lay his head on yash. I'm like, this guy is crazy. <laughs> and guys did you see the cute moments between beauty and groovy um uh, like there was this i don't know if it's a kiss or a peg and they're so close and some people are alleging that there was some hand action going on under the sheets yes yeah, so hmm. anyways anyways Talking about uh, beauty and groovy. Do you guys also know that Amaka wants to be the Watoni of this season? How do I mean? So Amaka actually planned the day before, you know, to kind of like um, come in between them. She wore a lingerie, you know, trying to like, you know, because she saw a crack, you know, between Bella and um, between beauty and groovy and she wanted to like creep in. But before she could say Jack, you know, um, what's her name? Beauty wore her lingerie and came out with full force and everything. And she was like, okay, abomination, mission, abomination. mission. But she was telling Christy O that if, she's, if she sees another opportunity, she was going there, you know, to break 
break the ship that if they survive they survive if they don't survive you know like if they survive it will make them stronger if they don't survive then i mean it is what it is i'm like ah why is it that this sounds so familiar i just remembered oh lockdown season what only i'm shaking tables let it not be that she, um what's her name amaka will just make a fool of herself this season Sha. anyways guys that's about it i mean it was an interesting night it kept us up you know but it was really you know an interesting night trust me this big brother niger helped me they came with the sauce and i am loving it it's just they what they five or be they six and these guys are bringing so much drama kudos to them i mean we are loving it on that note i say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed you know why we do kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl az williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead.